Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm welcome. Over here we are all about positivity, authenticity, and being free. This is a place where everybody is somebody, so if you resonate with this, subscribe to the channel. We'd all love to have you. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about how I went from a college dropout to manifesting perfect grades at my dream school. And I'm going to share with you the exact techniques that I used in order to achieve it. So if you're currently in a similar situation that I was in, I would definitely stick around if I were you because I'm about to share some insight and give you a lot of clarity and some extremely viable information in regards to helping you achieve whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Growing up, Academics weren't at the top of my priorities. This was especially evident by the blunt comment my fourth grade teacher made to my mom in regards to my careless nature. I talked a little bit about this in my how to manage stress video. If you haven't already seen this video, go and check it out. You'll love it. Even though my academics weren't important to me growing up, I still managed to get by with fairly decent grades. Shoot, to be honest, I was more concerned with going to football practice and coming home to play video games. <laughs> Well, one day when I was at my friend's house, I was playing one of the NCAA games. I forgot what year it was, but I was on the team selection screen getting ready to pick a team. As I was going through the team selections, I stopped at Penn State. I don't know if any of you sports fans can relate, but when I was younger, my favorite teams became my favorite teams based off the logo and the team colors. It didn't matter if they were good or if they were garbage, but if they had a nice color combination that I liked and a tight logo, that was my team. Anyway, it was something about the lion logo and the team colors that really intrigued me and drew me in. And at that very moment, I told myself that I would attend that school one day. Some time went by and one day during the time that my high school graduation was approaching, I woke up and realized that I hadn't even filled out an application for college. I knew that this was the perfect time in my life to begin the process of achieving the goal of attending my dream school. So I happily got online to look at the tuition as well as the academic requirements for the school. When I looked at the screen and saw that the minimum requirement was a 3.6, the natural lighting in my room began to dim. Have you guys ever been in a room and as the sun starts to go down, the lighting in your room gets a bit darker? This is exactly what happened and my mood went down with it. As I previously stated, academics weren't important to me and I can tell you that I most certainly did not have a 3.6 GPA. I had convinced myself that I would never get into my dream school. I was in a state of despair and I had a negative mindset towards my goal. I'm sure many of you have felt this way towards something as well. I did manage to get accepted to the local state college so I wasn't completely counted out. I even had the option of experiencing college in its entirety so there was something to be excited about. Now one thing you should know is I had fairly strict parents growing up and I never really got out of the house much so the day they dropped me off at my dorm was the day I realized that there was heaven on earth. It was like releasing a young raging bull that had been locked up for years into a pen of beautiful health healthy and willing females. Oh my goodness, it was pure bliss, but I paid for it because I ended up flunking every single one of my classes because I was so preoccupied with the carnal pleasures of life and at that time my priorities were not straight. Try explaining that to your parents. So I just straight up flunked out of college. <laughs> Once again, I was in a state of darkness. My mind was consumed with negativity because here I was thinking I could get into my dream school and I couldn't even make it past the local university. I was about to give up on everything until so one unforgettable night, I was laying in bed thinking about my whole life. I was all alone and I literally had nobody to talk to. I was sulking in my unworthiness and feeling sorry for myself all the way up until I fell asleep. Then something crazy happened. I woke up, but I wasn't in my bedroom, or at least it wasn't how I knew it to be. I thought to myself, is this a dream? And no matter how many times I smacked and pinched myself, I didn't wake up. So I got out of my bed and walked around and I noticed that I was in what seemed to be a multi-million dollar mansion. I was so happy I didn't even know what to do. So I did the first thing that came to my mind. I found a hallway of what seemed to be endless and I just took off running down it while screaming at the top of my lungs. And as I got near the end, I noticed an envelope laying on the ground with my name on it. So I picked it up and opened it to see what was in it. It was an acceptance letter from my dream school. At this time, I was on the ground hollering for joy, but in the background, I could hear a ticking noise and it got louder and louder and louder until I woke up to the real life ticking sound of my ceiling fan. It was all a dream. Man, I was so mad I didn't know what to do. But after I calmed down, I realized that this particular dream had given me so much motivation to make my dream 
into a reality. So this is the point in my life when I began to visualize myself how I wanted to be and where I wanted to be. I knew for a fact that I would be ecstatic if I received an acceptance letter from my dream school. So I envisioned myself picking up the letter, filling the paper, opening it up, and reading that amazing word, accepted. As a matter of fact, I lived my life as if it had already happened and this subliminal process convinced my conscious mind that I was already accepted into my dream school. Once I had convinced myself that I had already achieved my goal, I had no urge to want to go to my dream school. So I applied to a small private school and I continued living my life while being as happy as ever, having no regrets. As time went on, I raised my GPA and I was at the top of my class. Shoot, since things were going so well, I figured I'd send in an application to my dream school just to see what they said. I sent in the application and it took a while for the school to get back to me. But when they did, I opened up the letter and I began to read it. And when I got to the phrase, you have been accepted, I instantly lost composure. I didn't even read it. I had finally made it into my dream school. Now this was amazing. But there was one problem. The last time I was at a university, I couldn't even contain myself and ended up bombing out. I knew I was gonna have to come up with a game plan in order to keep up my GPA. Surprisingly, the solution came from an unexpected source. Well, I've always loved horror movies, and on one particular occasion while watching a horror movie, there was a character that portrayed the exact image that I wanted to embody. He was at the top of his class, he was a hard worker, he was talented, but most importantly, he was humble on top of all of this. Now, I know I do some crazy things, but after I saw this movie, I began watching it every single night. And right before I went to bed, I began telling myself positive things such as, you are awesome. You are amazing. You are astonishing. You are astounding. I was saying affirmations before I even knew what they were because it was innate. It was within me. And the amazing thing is I began to believe them. To make a long story short, as time went by, I had a positive mindset. I kept visualizing myself making good grades and I kept repeating feel good affirmations every single night. It all paid off when I received an email from the Dean telling me that I had made the Dean's list for achieving all A's. And it was all because I believed in myself and I knew I was capable of it. I went from devastation to visualization to affirmations to manifestation. So guys, no matter who you are, no matter what age you are or what kind of background you have, you can manifest anything. All you have to do is believe. There were times when I thought there was nothing in this world that was going to help me, but I realized instead of me giving up and waiting on people to save me, sometimes you have to help yourself because only you know the real you. Nobody can jump inside of your body and get you out of an internal conflict. They may be able to empathize with you and sympathize with you, but it's all up to you. The truth lies within you. And hopefully my story has helped you realize that. Well, I really hope you all enjoyed the video and I really hope this helps somebody out there. If you have found value in this video, subscribe to the channel. You guys are amazing and I am so thankful for your support. I'll see you guys in the next video or in the previous one. And always remember, be your true authentic self. Peace.